chainsaw artist. So basically I use a series of chainsaws, different tools to create pieces of art out of wood. I've been doing it for about 10 years now. I've travelled all over the country, working in people's gardens, worked for county councils in parks, things like that. I do an awful lot of work for tidy towns associations. Most of what I do is commissions, whether it's here in the workshop working on smaller pieces or out on site working on bigger pieces. The client will always dictate what's to be done. If I had my say, I'd probably be carving dragons and things like that in every tree, but everyone has an idea what they want. It's great for me as well then, to try and realise people's ideas and dreams. People are more aware of the fact that if you have this tree and it's died, you can give it a new lease of life. I've always loved working with wood. I was born in the UK. My dad would have been uh, a site manager. So from a very small boy, I was been taken out on sites every Saturday, hanging doors and fitting architraves and things like that. So I've always loved working with wood. I ran a construction company for many years with myself and my brother. Most of the work we subcontracted out, but all the woodwork we would have done ourselves. But then downturn came back 10, 15 years ago, and I had to reinvent. I had no work. So I'd heard a bit about chainsaw carving. I knew nothing about chainsaws, but I went online, did a bit of research. My dad had an old chainsaw that was about 45 years old, hadn't run in years. Lesson number one was taking that apart, putting it back together, and getting it going. The bug kind of set in, and I think maybe 10 or 12 chainsaws later, I think I might have some kind of an obsession. There's so many days where you go home at the end of the day, you're absolutely shattered. The body is, you know, aches and pains, but you still have this incredible sense of satisfaction. And you sit back with a bit of a smug grin on your face, apart from the pain and the aches and whatever else. It's been an amazing journey. I've got to travel the country, meet some amazing people. Um, it's been, you know, I'm loving it.